Hello YouTube and welcome to the tutorial number 10 in the PHP programming series and in this video we're going to look again at the if statement but it's kind of like a carry on from the previous tutorial we're going to look at the else and else if statements so let's just get straight into it we'll make our file we're going to call this one else.php and okay so last time we made a variable so make it we'll just do it again we'll make a variable called Chris and we're going to say if as you know and then we have our brackets and if you are confused by this please watch a previous tutorial first we'll say if name double equals remember and Chris then our curly brackets we're going to echo out welcome to the website Chris probably should have a comment after the website but this is an English tutorial so we'll save that else.php and you'll see it says welcome to the website Chris but what if the name isn't Chris well as we displayed last time we'll type Tom we'll save it and nothing comes up so that's going to be a problem because if no code is executed then there's nothing really dynamic about it it's so you'd need to something to be there to execute if the name isn't Chris and we can do this using the else so what we, all we need to do is after this ending curly bracket we type else and this is pretty much just like typing if but now we don't need a thing we, sorry we don't need the condition because this is saying if it's true now this is what it's going to do if it's false so we type else and then we type another set of curly brackets so we do a starting curly bracket actually it might be easier to type it out like this else and then we have a starting curly bracket and then an ending one and this is what it will do if the name isn't Chris it's going to say echo and I should actually be using single quotation marks there just you know for good practice or whatnot so hey you're not Chris and as you also know from a previous tutorial we need to escape this extra um, this apostrophe right here so if the name is Chris it's going to say welcome to website Chris and all we need to do for else statement is add the word else and then another set of curly brackets so if we save this and reload it it's gonna say hey you're not Chris so if we go back again and we type Chris as the variable name you see here it says welcome to the website Chris so that is what an else statement is so just to go over it we'll have our normal if statement right here it will just gonna say if and then the condition and if this condition is is true then it's going to execute the code in the curly brackets but if the condition is false so if the name isn't Chris then it's going to execute it's gonna say else another set of curly brackets and it's gonna execute this code and you can also have as many lines as you want in an if statement so if we just want to have a break here and we'll have another echo we'll say echo who are you, who are you just you know as a test and we'll change the name to Bob and you know as you can see we can have more than one line of text to execute when we are dealing with if statements so that's all fine and good but what if we want to say hello to two people well we can also use the else if statement now we could just go and type uh, you know two if statements and it would take a long time you know for example we could actually just make a whole new if statement here um, so if na name equals Chris I'm gonna say if name is Chris then I'm gonna say hello I mean have to copy and paste this and say um, if name equals Tom and then we'll write all that but that would take a long time it would be very messy so what we can actually do is use an else if statement so I'm going to go back to the original if statement if name equals Chris welcome to the website Chris and now what we're going to do is type else if and this is like the else um, pretty much what all you need to do is just type else if and now we can add another condition here so whereas with the else we didn't add a condition we can also add a condition here so else if then we have our brackets and we're going to say name is equal to Tom so else if name equals to Tom and then we add two more we had opening curly brackets and closing curly brackets and we're going to say echo welcome to the website Tom and we'll close it 
And we can also end this with an else, so else. And we'll have open curly brackets, close curly brackets, echo. Um, who the hell are you? And we'll save that. And since the name is Chris, it should. We're going to go to this. So let's go through the code. If name equals Chris. Oh yeah, name is Chris. So we're going to echo this and end the code. So we load that name is website. Welcome to the website, Chris. So if we change this to Tom, it's going to say, okay, if the name is equal to Chris. Oh no, it doesn't. So we're going to jump to the else if name equals Tom. And it says, yep, the name's Tom, so welcome to the website, Tom. So, you know, we save that, reload it, welcome to the website, Tom. And then, if it's Bob, it goes through this, it's not Chris, it's not Tom. So, it's just going to skip right to the else, and else is going to be Echo, who the hell are you? So, um, actually, we need to save that, and it's going to say, who the hell are you? So, that is how to work with the else if and else statement. So in summary, the else if is going to be just like another option. It makes the if statement, you know, more flexible. So it's another option for the if statement that you add more than one condition. And the else statement is kind of like a way to escape the if statement. It's the default. So it's what the code will execute if none of the conditions are true. So I hope you guys understood that. If you didn't, just try watching it over again. Um, also, you can leave a comment on the video and I'll answer all questions. Just like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.